Are you considering filing for bankruptcy in 2024, but unsure whether chapter seven or chapter 13 bankruptcy is right for you? In today's video, I'll break down the key differences between the two types of bankruptcies that can help you make the most informed decision about your situation. Welcome to the Ascent Finance YouTube channel, where we help you get out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. My name is Ben, and I'm the CEO here at Ascent, so let's get started. This video is just for informational purposes only and shouldn't be construed as legal or financial advice. So, is chapter seven or chapter 13 bankruptcy right for you? One thing I like to do as the CEO of a debt services company is try to debunk the stigma behind filing bankruptcy. Today, I want to go over chapter seven versus chapter 13 and why you may look at one of these options or one of the other options to help you get out of a rough, difficult financial situation. My top of mind goal is always to help people get out of debt cheaper, easier, and faster. The option that makes most sense to you is dependent on the person in the, their unique situation. First, what is bankruptcy? There are two types of personal bankruptcy that are the most common, which is chapter seven and chapter 13 bankruptcy. Chapter seven bankruptcy is also known as a liquidation bankruptcy and can help discharge your unsecured debts. Discharge basically means that you're released from liability of owning on those debts and are no longer required to pay it. The court will see whether you qualify for this bankruptcy in what's called the means test. This test is determined to see whether you have the means to pay back some of your unsecured debt, which is based on income. It looks at the state's threshold for your household size and what you make. That said, if you make above that threshold, you may still qualify by looking at your actual expenses. Chapter 13 bankruptcy, on the other hand, is a wage earners bankruptcy, which is a court mandated payment plan that is often monthly and lasts three or five years. It's based on what they view you can afford towards the debt via your disposable income. You may consider the chapter 13 option if you don't qualify for chapter seven bankruptcy, or what if you have an asset that is at risk, such as a home or vehicle that you are looking to protect that would not be protected in a chapter seven bankruptcy? Aside from not being able to qualify, some people look at a chapter 13 bankruptcy um, if their home is about to be foreclosed on or car repossessed and they want to catch up on those payments in a chapter 13 bankruptcy plan. A chapter 13 bankruptcy plan allows you to be get caught up on those assets and get them back in good standing. Now, if you'd like to compare both of these options for your specific situation, you can take the, our free chapter seven versus chapter 13 bankruptcy, which will help you estimate whether you qualify for chapter seven and what your chapter 13 plan payment would be. Or feel free to message me or comment below bankruptcy and I'm happy to get over to you. Thanks so much and hope you have a great day.